everyone. My name is Lisette. I'm the International Program Coordinator here at Brescia University College. And I'm here to give you a short presentation um, to give you some information of a little bit of what I do at Brescia and how I support international students. So first of all, I want to tell you that I'm really excited that you're considering Brescia as your post-secondary institution. We're a welcoming community here at Brescia and we're so excited um, to have you view this session. So just a little bit about um, the international department. Um, again, I hold the title as International Program Coordinator for Russia. So I help support um, all international students coming into our programs, uh, you know, when they come in in September or January. So I help answer any questions you guys may have and make your transition as easy as possible. So my main office is located in the St. James building right beside the Hive. So uh, we have kind of a student lounge right in front of the hive. And then you'll notice my office also has a mini lounge with many, many flags from different parts of the world. And my office is just right at the back of that. So um, I'm available anytime for international students and for students as a whole. I have a, a work cell that's always on me that I usually give to my international students. So you have a great way to contact me anytime right away. Um, so as I said, I do assist all international students coming into the country and coming uh, into Russia. So I assist you with in different areas like settlement barriers. I make sure that you transition well. You have all the resources you need to empower yourself to be a successful student, um, both resources on campus and in the community. Um, I also support you guys in student engagement opportunities and student leadership opportunities. So we do so many events in the international department that we open it up to all students and it really gives you a chance to lead and connect with other student leaders as well. Um, I also offer volunteer placements. Many of my students uh, want the opportunity to gain reference letters. So they often ask me if they can volunteer throughout the school year um, or in different semesters. Um, I also help you with ongoing support on the Canadian uh, school system and how the workforce, most workforce, sorry, most especially works in Canada. So many of my international students always try to inquire if they can get part time jobs when they arrive to Canada and they've really settled in. So I oftentimes take my students to a special offices downtown in London and um, kind of guide them and show them, you know, where to receive all that paperwork. Um, I also, you know, give you guys connections to uh, resources in the community, like I said, so you'll be able to volunteer and participate out in the, in the community and receive resources that will really benefit your life here. Um, I also give guidance and referrals to uh, immigration questions. So many of our students, they will come into my office and they will ask um, questions on immigration, whether it's their student permit, you know, how to extend your permit. Um, they oftentimes have questions about the postgraduate work permit in case you're interested in staying in Canada. So I help guide you with that and send you to the right people. So we have a great partnership and connection with Western University's main campus. And we have international student advisors that really help our students and guide them through the applications. So I oftentimes connect you with our wonderful colleagues and workers from there so that uh, your, all your questions get answered. Um, we also have opportunities for you to be uh, student leaders um, in your upper years. We have a wonderful program called Bridging, where you can become a facilitator and give great information and orientation to other students coming into Canada for the first time. Um, we have also cultural festivals that you can be part of and, and get to know other different cultures uh, within the Russia community. Um, I'd like to share some photos of some of our international events, exciting international events that we host here. On the top left, um, you know, we have our wonderful bridging facilitators, facilitators from 2019. So during the bridging week, we often take a group of students, uh, first year students and preliminary year students. We take them on a fascinating trip to Niagara Falls. We go to shopping outlets. Um, 
we get to know different, you know, places around the city of London, and we just do team building skills together. So the wonderful students you see here on the first picture um, are bridging facilitators. So they're kind of student leads who get to guide you um, during your first uh, week at Brescia or the week before you start your classes, I, I should say. They give you a great orientation of what it's like uh, to study at Brescia as an international student. The second photo at the top in the middle are, is one of our fashion show festivals that we host yearly, usually taking place in January. Um, of course, due to COVID, we've had to get creative in the different programming we've been able to offer virtually. But um, when COVID is definitely done, we'll be able to get back together again. And usually all of our festival, festivals host 200 to 300 people. We offer food, we show fashion, we do presentations of all kinds. So it's, it's a great way for our students to also lead. The right photo, um, again, as I stated, due to COVID-19, we got really creative with what kind of programs we could offer to our students. We had um, an international cooking showdown this year. So instead of our festivals, we, we had five students from all over the world who live in residency compete um, on a cultural dish and we made it into kind of a show. So we launched it one evening, our students cooked different dishes and we had one student who got to win an award plaque and, and uh, um, they got to win the top chef for the school year. So that was quite exciting. On uh, the left bottom side here, um, it shows some of our students engaging and learning about different countries around the globe. So during our cultural festivals, we, we put up amazing boards to give information about the different countries around the world where our students are from. And it really gives a different perspective about culture to other, other students who may not know um, about other countries around the world. So it, it's a great opportunity for you to learn about different places around the world. Um, for our uh, Christmas holiday celebrations, we have a wonderful Christmas tree that we put out in front of my um, office and we have our students decorate um, global, you know, decor to put on the tree. So it's quite fun. We take photos, we have snacks and, and really just an opportunity to you for you guys to sit back, relax and, and do some um, engaging during Christmas. We also host uh, Halloween events too, where our students can carve pumpkins, um, we'll have dinners, we'll watch, you know, um, different events take place uh, throughout Halloween. So it's quite exciting. Um, I also help uh, with one of my other wonderful colleagues. She's our registrar at Russia. Her name is uh, Melanie Molnar. So we also work closely together to bring exchange opportunities for our students. Um, so you will find that Brescia partners with amazing universities across the globe to give our students the opportunity to travel to other countries for a term or for a few weeks just for you to learn about different countries. Um, we've also become quite creative this year uh, in terms of how we engage with other universities virtually. So we have an opportunity to connect through small conversation events uh, with other universities across the globe and have our students meet other students. So we've been doing that virtually this year, um, but we know that hopefully this coming year, um, uh, the school year, we'll have, we will have the opportunities to send our students to more uh, exchange opportunities for sure. So if you should ever, if you're an international student, then it's you should ever have questions about what an exchange looks like if you're interested on, on in going for a few weeks or a month to another country while you're still studying at Brescia, you can come chat with me or our registrar, current active registrar, Melanie Molnar. So um, just to name um, some institutions that we actually partner with, we partner with the Netherlands, we partner with France, the west coast of Barbados, we partner with Granada, South Korea, and Japan. So um, we also have other countries 
uh, through Western that we oftentimes partner with. So if you ever have questions on other opportunities where you'd like to go, you can come ask, feel free to come ask me. We also prepare our students before they leave. We make sure you feel empowered and ready for a real exchange experience. So that's what I wanted to share with you. This is just some of our programs, just to name a few, um, but we have so many others that we, we oftentimes allow you to experience. So um, you can you know, ask for my contact anytime in case you have questions about being an international student here in Canada. Um, you can definitely ask your um, admissions officers um, for my contact and I'll be happy to guide you through that. It's great meeting all of you, um, or I'd love to have the opportunity, actually I should say to meet all of you. Um, and uh, I oftentimes connect with our students right when they've been accepted and, and offered an, uh, admissions into Brescia. So I hope you guys choose Brescia as your second home. We're a real close community and you have that benefit also that Western main campus is just down the road from us. It's a walk away down the hill. So our students love the fact that you can study in a smaller campus and really build close relationships with your professors and all of the staff here at Brescia. We're here to support you and guide you and really lead you to um, success. So reach out anytime when you have any questions. Bye-bye.